Hi everyone, my name is Andrew Empt. Uh, this is my second book share for LI243. This week is a modern fantasy book share. And the book I chose for this book share is I'm Not Afraid of This Haunted House. And the illustrator is Lori, I mean the author is Lori Freeman and the illustrator is Teresa Murfin. This book was published in, on August 1st, 2005 by Carol Rhoda Books. It's a popular publishing group. Um, this book is 32 pages, and I'd say the recommended age group for this book is definitely 5 to 8. Uh, second and third grade would be a great audience for this book. Um, I'm going to read you now this book, and then I'll talk about what I like about it afterwards. All right. Again, this book is called I'm Not Afraid of This Haunted House, and it is by Lori Friedman, and the illustration is by Teresa Murfin. So here we go. I'm Simon Lester Henry Strauss, and I'm not afraid of this haunted house. The fortune teller says, come inside. Her crystal ball says, you can't hide. My friends are scared of what they'll see, but I just tell them, follow me. I'm Simon Lester Henry Strauss. I'm not afraid of this haunted house. I'm not afraid of the witch at the door. I'm not afraid of the creaky old floor. When a ghost swoops down and hollers boo, I shout back, I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of the vampire's feast. I can handle these blood-sucking beasts. I bare my neck and face my fate. I help myself at, to a dinner plate. I'm Simon Lester Henry Strauss, and I'm not afraid of this haunted house. I'm not afraid of the screaming ghoul. I tell him that his tunes sound cool. The bloody werewolf makes me laugh. I point him to the nearest bath. I'm not afraid of the goblin in bed who's snacking on spiders that hang overhead. My friends start running left and right, but I reach up and take a bite. I'm Simon Lester Henry Strauss. I'm not afraid of this haunted house. In the graveyard by the light of the moon, a skeleton hums an ominous tune. My friends start screaming when he moans, but I shake hands with that old bag of bones. I'm Simon Lester Henry Strauss. I'm not afraid of this haunted house. I'm not afraid when a wedding takes place and Frankenstein's bride can't find her face. My friends all hide, but I just smile and cheer the couple down the aisle. At the reception, I try blood and brains. For dessert, I sample guts and veins. When a one-eyed monster pops out of the cake and says, Who wants to rattle and shake? My friends look like they wet their pants, but I grab her arm and start to dance. I'm Simon Lester Henry Strauss, and I'm not afraid of this haunted house. In the distance, I see something cool, the treacherous tower and the vampire's pool. My friends all scream, come on, let's run, by march inside. This looks like fun. There's nothing here that scares me at all, not the rows of coffins that line the wall, not the pool of blood that makes me grin. If I had a suit, I'd dive right in. I'm not afraid when the room goes black. Not a sliver of light peeks through a crack. But I'm not scared. Oh no, not me. Pitch black is my favorite place to be. I'm not even scared of the moving floor. My friends cry. We can't take any more. I laugh as they tremble and pitch a fit. There's nothing here that scares me one bit. Outside, my friends collapse in fear. But I cannot wait to come back next year. I raise my hands up to the sky and cry out loud, I'm one brave guy. I'm Simon Lester Henry Strauss, and I'm not afraid of this. Eek! A mouse. So, that's it for this haunted house. Um, I really like this book because of the rhyme text. Rhyme text is great because it can. it's great for building children's poetry skills and rhyming word skills that they'll use later in the, later in school. Um, this book also ha shows a great themes of
courage and humility. Uh, the courage is obviously shown through Simon, the main character. He's not scared of anything he goes through in this haunted house, being the witches, the Frankensteins, the goblins and ghouls, whatever it may be, he's not scared of. Until the very end, he's scared of a little mouse. And that's where humility comes in, because he's, he's, humili he's humiliated by his friends because they're all laughing at him for being scared of a little mouse. But at the same time, he's not scared of anything like monsters that he just went through. But now he's scared of a little mouse, and now humility shows. And this the life lesson in humility is good because it, it teaches kids to, you know, it's okay to be courage, to be courageous and you know confident in what you can do and your abilities. But at the same time, humility will come upon you and you have to be ready to face it because it's it's tough to face. And I think it's a good lesson for kids from this book that it's good to be cur to be courageous, but at the same time, be accountable for yourself and humility can occur. Um, the, uh, the type of the modern fantasy book this is, it's suspense and the supernatural. The suspense is built up through Simon not being scared of anything till the very end. And it, it keeps the readers engaged because they, they want to figure out, is he scared of anything? And then at the very end, he's scared of the little mouse. Uh, the supernatural part is obviously the goblins and ghouls and all the other monsters that are featured throughout this book. I really like the artwork of this book, too. I think I think Teresa Murphy did a great job with her illustrations with the uh, different... I guess uh, different characters throughout. Um, this book really reminds me of you know of a show that can be on Nickelodeon or or a fun kids TV show. So I think this is a fun seasonal book for kids in the classroom. Um, again, it's about a haunted house, so if you are going to have this in the classroom, it's good for Halloween. And um, that's about it. Thank you.